guys, welcome back. So got a review and a little mini tutorial for y'all on the Too Faced Peanut Butter and Jelly Palette. I have been trying out this palette for a while now. It's so fun. So I'm just gonna run through a little review for y'all, talk about pricing, packaging, show you some swatches, and then I'll give you a little mini tutorial on the look that I have today. And yeah, just kind of give you my overall thoughts and impressions on this palette. So let's jump into it. So starting with pricing and packaging, the price of this palette is $36 and it is an Ulta exclusive. So you can only purchase this at Ulta or on the Too Faced website. And as far as what you get in this palette, you get three eyeshadows that are two grams each for a total weight of six grams, and then six shadows that are 0.9 grams each for a total weight of 5.4. So you get you know some of the smaller shadows and then some of those larger shadows in here, which is really nice. I like that they kind of like make the most used shades a little bit bigger. So that's really nice that they do that in their palettes. As far as the packaging, stinking adorable. I mean, I absolutely love it looks like little peanuts and just a little peanut butter and jelly palette. Um, the back, it's got some information. It does say, don't worry, sweetie, this product doesn't contain any actual peanuts. So that's just kind of a little FYI there, but the outside box is adorable. The actual palette is stinking cute. Some people may say this is a little bit too much, too kitty or something, but I love it. I think it is so adorable, so cute, fun, just makes me happy. It's precious. This is a little bit raised. It looks like just a little peanut butter and jelly palette. It's so cute. And then as far as what you get in this palette, this is what it looks like. You do get a little pamphlet with some looks in it, which is nice. And there's a mirror behind there. Um, but it's just a very warm palette. So you can see, I mean, it's just a very, very warm palette with some pops of purple thrown in for the jelly little vibe there. And this whole palette was based around peanut butter that was in the semi-sweet chocolate bar palette. So everybody loved that color and they just went with it and made a whole palette around it, which is really, really fun. And as far as the scent on it, I, it took me a while to like pinpoint the scent because it's sort of like the chocolate bar palettes, but then it's really not. It's got like a, a twist to it. You know what it smells like. I don't know if y'all ever had those little like booklets that you would put like stickers in when you were a kid and some of them were like scratch and sniff. I don't know what the specific scratch and sniff was. Maybe it was a peanut butter and jelly palette or not <laughs> peanut butter and jelly palette. No, peanut butter and jelly sandwich, but something smelled like this palette. That's what it brings me back to is being a kid and those little like sticker books that you could do the little scratch and sniff on it. So it smells really yummy. It's very nostalgic. I love it. Okay, we're gonna start over here, which is the top left side of the palette. This is Spread the Love. Really nice matte peachy shade. It's kind of unique, like one of those colors that you really just don't see a ton in palettes. So I do like that one. This is the one that started it all. This is Peanut Butter, a really beautiful, warm, mid-tone brown color. Love it. This one is Peanut Butter Cup, and it's just kind of a nice, slightly chocolatey sort of a bronze shade, really beautiful. This one is Bananas, it's a gold, but honestly I wish this one was just a little bit brighter and more metallic. Um, it's kind of more of a neutral gold. It's very pretty, but I wish it were just a little bit more vibrant. This one is Peanut Brittle, that is a gorgeous metallic copper shade, love that one. This one is Jammin, a nice kind of dark metallic purple, really pretty. This one is extra creamy. This is a matte off-white color. Perfect for a brow bone highlight. Really beautiful, really brightening. I like that one a lot. This one is jelly. This one doesn't swatch very well. Um, it's like a bright um, metallic purple shade. It's got a lot of pink in it, but it does perform better on the eyes than in a swatch. So you can't fully base it on the swatch, but it is lacking a little bit, but it's not a total fail. And then this one right here is gorgeous. This is Nuts About You. It is just a beautiful matte rusty brown color. Love that one. So really pretty shades. The only thing I wish it did have in it, I wish it had a dark, dark brown, like an almost black brown for deepening up the outer corner. Jammin does work for that, but I just wish there were a dark brown. I always love a really, really dark brown in a palette. So that's the only thing I would change and maybe make bananas just a little bit brighter, but really pretty colors. And then as far as the texture and performance on these shadows, I think it's really nice. 
Um, I find them really easy to blend, pigmented, they blend nicely together, they work well together, they wear well throughout the day. So I find the quality of the shadows to be really, really good. Um, the only thing is that they can get a little bit messy, more so in the pan. Like I really don't notice a ton of fallout when I'm using them on my eyes, but in the pan, you might be able to see some of the kind of dustiness in mine, but they look they get a little bit messy, so they kick up a lot of product, but mostly in the actual palette, more so than when I'm using them on my eyes. So I really do like these shadows. I think they're really nice quality, fun, and easy to work with. I'm really loving them. So now we're gonna get into this little mini tutorial, so let's get to that. Okay, so I've already applied an eye primer, and then I put some of Max Painterly Paint Pot on the top half of my lids and e.l.f.'s brownie points on my actual lids as my base. And I'm gonna go in with my palette and I'm gonna get a combination of Spread the Love and Peanut Butter on a Sedona Lace EB15. So I'm gonna kind of mix those two colors and apply that into my crease and transition area, just blending back and forth. And I'm gonna get nuts about you. This is a Beauty 360 brush. It's kind of a little crease brush, but I'm gonna get this um, color on this brush just because I like to, sometimes when I do like a smokier look, I like to use a crease brush um, to apply onto my lids. So I'm gonna take this color and apply it over that base and just completely cover my lid with this. And I'm gonna take some of Jammin' on that same brush and apply that into my outer corner just to kind of give a little bit more dimension there, a little bit more shape to the eyes. And I'm going to get some of Extra Creamy on just a no-name brush and apply this as my brow bone highlight and I'm also going to pop a little bit on the inner corners of my eyes just for a little added brightness. Now for liner, I'm going to apply some of this Jane Water Resistant Eyeliner in brown. I'm going to line my upper lash line and smudge that out a little bit, and then also line my lower lash line. Now to smudge out that liner, I'm going to get some of Peanut Brittle on a Sedona Lace EB21 brush, and just go right over that. I'm mainly going to concentrate this on the outer half of my lower lash line because I'm going to use a different color on the inner half of my lower lash line. And then for that inner half, I'm going to get some of jelly on that same brush and just apply that. I think it just adds a little something, but I really wanted this look to be more warm and smoky, but we'll just do a little pop of the purple. And I'm just going to curl my lashes and apply some mascara. Today I'm using the CoverGirl The Super Sizer. Okay, so that takes care of the eyes. There's the final look there. And then for blush today, I'm going to use my, um, what is this? Benefit Sugar Balm. And I've already applied like foundation, concealer, powder, bronzer, everything else on my face, I'll list it down below for you. But I'm gonna take some Sugar Balm on a Delium Tools 960 brush and apply that. This is just a really subtle, slightly glowy peach blush. I love it. I think it pairs really nicely with this palette and it's benefit. So their box blushes smell yummy too, which is an added benefit. And then for lips, I'm gonna apply some of Maybelline's Clay Crush. And on top of that, I'm gonna use some of the NYX Butter Gloss in Sunday Mimosa, just to add a little bit more peachiness. So overall thoughts on this palette, I'm really enjoying this. I think it is so adorable, so cute to look at, really nice quality, performs really well. I'm just loving it. And I would say if you're kind of thinking about purchasing this palette, 
really it's a question of do you like really cutesy packaging and do you like really really warm eyeshadow looks if you don't like warm eyeshadow looks this is not the palette for you but if you do like those really warm just kind of rusty orangey sort of eye looks i think you will absolutely love this palette I'm really enjoying it. I'm really glad I got it and I would highly recommend it. All right guys, so that wraps up this review and little mini tutorial. So I hope that you really enjoyed it. Please hit a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what you are thinking about this palette. I would love to know your thoughts. What are some of your like favorite looks that you're creating with it? If you do own this palette, ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.